Hey, welcome back to episode four of Stuck in the 80s, where we review classic movies from the decade that define pop culture. I am your host with the most, the one, the only. Hey, it's me, it's Jason. How's it going? Today we're gonna review an absolute classic, a horror classic, a franchise classic, 1984's A Nightmare on Elm Street. And hey, stick around, because I'm gonna give it scores for kills, gore, effects, and acting. And as a bonus, we're gonna look at a minus one to one for an overall rating. And by the way, I am gonna spoil everything about this. So if you haven't seen this movie, first of all, shame on you. Second of all, hey, stop it right now, watch the movie, come back and see what I gotta say. Oh, and by the way, I'm adding something new to the show. Today, we're gonna do a little shot. We're gonna do a shot of bourbon. Today, we got Baker 7 from Jim Beam out in Kentucky. Why did I choose Baker's? Well, I don't know, maybe because Freddy's baked. So here, here's to you, Freddy. Anyway, A Nightmare on Elm Street was released in 1984 and directed by the almighty Wes Craven. It tells the story of a group of teenagers who are terrorized by a vengeful spirit named <laughs> Freddy Krueger, duh, in their dreams. The movie is full of surprises, jump scares, and a killer soundtrack that will take you back into the 80s. My favorite place. Let's start with the story. A Nightmare on Elm Street has a unique and terrifying premise that still holds up to today. We've had several sequels, a remake, and even Freddy vs. Jason. This movie is a solid two out of two. Next, let's talk about the kills. This had probably one of the best kills in movie history. Just as Johnny Depp, I mean, hell, he was splattered all over the place. Right on that ceiling, teeth falling everywhere. Tina's death, just as good. I think Freddy had a thing for taking people up onto the ceiling. I don't know, what do you think? I'm gonna give it a two out of two. Moving on to gore. A Nightmare on Elm Street doesn't rely on excessive gore, but you still had enough blood in this movie to really keep it active and alive. It's very effective. We're still only gonna give it about a one here. Now let's talk about the effects. A Nightmare on Elm Street has some impressive practical effects that still hold up today. I'm gonna give this a two as well. Finally, Let's talk about the acting. A Nightmare on Elm Street had some standout performances, especially from our lead girl, Heather Langenkamp, one of the best final girls in horror movie history. I'm only gonna give it a one though, because I think the rest of the acting kind of was like back and forth. But hey, Freddy Krueger, Robert England, you were solid as well, my friend. Now for the bonus score. A Nightmare on Elm Street had a huge impact on horror genre and pulp culture as a whole. It's easily a one out of a one high grossing franchise, and the birth of Freddy Krueger. So the final score, if you added everything up correctly, in Nightmare on Elm Street, you're a well-deserving 9 out of 10. It's a must watch for horror fans, anyone who loves the 80s. So hey, thank you for watching another episode of Stuck in the 80s with your host, me, the one, the only Jason. And thank you for reviewing the almighty 1984's Nightmare on Elm Street. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more reviews of classic movies from the 80s. And as always, we'll see you next time. But in the meantime, whatever you do, don't fall asleep.